Good evening, everyone. And welcome to this very exciting night of the year, the most holy night of the year. It's wonderful to have you here, so welcome. Welcome to everyone who will watch this later on uh, from YouTube. I understand it'll be uploaded maybe by 10 o'clock or so. No, not that soon. Yeah, it takes a while. Anyway, thank you for doing that. As always, we acknowledge that the land that we're worshiping on was cared for for centuries by our indigenous brothers and sisters, and we give thanks for their stewardship of the land. Let's stand and sing, O Come All Ye Faithful. <clears throat>
if you turn to the screens, we have some liturgy to gather us in on this special night. We come into this church thankful for Joseph and for his willingness to venture to Bethlehem with Mary. The strength of Joseph is light to us this Christmas Eve. We come to this church thankful for Mary, who accepted her role to bring Jesus to birth. The courage of Mary is light to us this Christmas Eve. We come to this church thankful for shepherds, angels, and magi who responded with joy to Jesus' birth. Their stories shared in our readings and carols and actions are light to us this Christmas Eve. We come to this church thankful for our forebears who have faithfully celebrated the birth of Jesus down through the ages. Their faithfulness is light to us this Christmas Eve. We come to this church thankful for God's Son, whose birth and life changes our lives. Now we come to a special moment. We all know O Holy Night, but I've always heard it as a solo. And so tonight, I wanted to hear what it sounded like of a whole congregation saying O Holy Night. So let's... Uh, Put on our best voices and sing O Holy Night. You sing better when you're standing.
were beautiful. Thank you for doing that. I loved it. I'm going to invite the Odette family to come up and light our Advent wreath. May the carols of angels lead us to hope, the hope born in a manger this night. May the wisdom of shepherds and magi lead us to peace, the peace born in a manger this night. May the stars dancing in the sky lead us to joy. The joy is born in the manger this night. May the courage of Mary and Joseph lead us to love, the love born in a manger tonight. May the, the light of Christ be born in our hearts once again this Christmas. Amen. us all pray together. Holy One, born anew each Christmas Eve, be born anew in us this night. Thank you for revealing your glory to us through unlikely people in unexpected places. Be with us this night as we remember your incarnate love born to a poor woman in a far corner of the world. We have come together from many places to celebrate this sacred moment together. We have come with open hearts so that the holy mystery that surrounds Jesus' birth may surprise us with joy and strengthen us to go out into the world. May we be filled with your holy light so that hope peace and love might shine forth from us. Amen. So now we come to the beautiful Christmas story, and I'll be reading from the King James Version of the Bible from the second chapter of Luke and then the second chapter of Matthew. <clears throat> And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. Oh, let 
And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Thank you. 
suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven the shepherds said one to another let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass that the Lord hath made known unto us and they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger When they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered about those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them.
Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born, king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. When Herod the king heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. Turn to your homes. <laughs> How about a hand for all these wonderful? Thank you so much.
Thank you. We just recruited them on the spot. You probably saw that. So thanks to them for being good sports. So I understand it was the custom here at Grace United pre-pandemic to have two Christmas Eve services, one at seven and one at 10. But since it's on a Sunday today, we decided to combine everything into one. So we'll celebrate communion as well. And then we'll be followed with the candlelight. So in the United Church, it is an open table. So everyone is welcome to partake of communion. 
So in the name of the one who said I am the bread of life, I invite you to come and eat. And in the name of the one who said I am the true vine, I invite you to come and drink. And in the name of the one who said love one another as I have loved you, I invite you to the table of Christ this holy night. Glory to God in the highest. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Blessed are you, gracious God, creator of light, giver of all life, source of love. We bless you for all your gifts. You bring creation to birth and send prophets to awaken us to your advent among us. We praise you for that holy night of hope and the wonder of this time of joy. We thank you for those who, like Mary, have the strength and courage to give birth to your love in the world. For those who, like the shepherds, dare to seek out the child of Bethlehem, we praise you that your everlasting light is shown to us in womb and tomb, in cradle and cross, in tenderness and compassion. For Jesus Christ, in whom you gather the hopes and fears of all the years, we bless your holy name, joining with all your people of every time and place, and with angels and archangels who proclaim the holy birth. Holy, holy, holy God, power of life and love. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna through the ages. Blessed is the one who comes to bring your justice to earth. We do what Jesus did the night before he died. He took bread, gave thanks, broke the bread, and gave it to his friends and said, take and eat, remember me. Then he took the cup and said, take and drink, remember me. Remembering your boundless love for us in Jesus Christ, we offer you our praise as we proclaim the mystery of our faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. <clears throat> Send, O oh God, your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts, that all who share in this bread and this cup may be the body of Christ, light, life, and love in the world. The bread of life. And the cup of blessing. The gifts of God for the people of God. I have some servers coming.
bread of life. and the cup of blessing. We turn now to the prayer, please. Let us pray together. For the bread we have eaten, for the wine we have tasted, for the life we have received, we thank you, God. Grant that what we have done and have been given here may so put its mark on us that it may remain always in our hearts. May ours be lives of faithful action. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Thank you. So now we come to the time of candle lighting. So uh, the ushers will go up and light the first candle, and then you in turn will pass the flame on to the others in your row. Be sure to hold the unlit one sideways, not the lit one, okay? And some of you folks have the ones that turn off as well. And we'll start singing once everyone has their candles lit. I don't know. 
one either. Christmas, everyone. Thank you. Go now in peace. Amen.
Thanks, Connor. Maybe just the back ones, Connor, is enough. <laughs>